So this is the Nokia Lumia, the first Nokia phone to support the Windows Phone 7 operating system. And this video is a quick demonstration of the Xbox Live application that's pre-installed on the phone itself. So as soon as you open the actual Xbox Live application, you'll be welcome to your collection of games that are installed on the phone itself. All of the games are available to download or purchase. Uh, and to make it easy, you can just click on the Get More Games section and it'll take you straight to the Xbox Live section of the Windows Phone Marketplace. So click on it, it'll take you straight to the Xbox Live section. Clicking More will show you the full list of Xbox Live compatible games. And just like on Xbox Live Arcade, it'll say at the top in the white banner section, just there, that it's an Xbox Live compatible game, so you'll be able to earn up to 200 achievement points on uh, each game. So far, there is five free games to download from the Xbox Live uh, section of the marketplace. Games including Breeze, Flowers, Shuffle Party, Sudoku, and Minesweeper. Each of these five games will include free uh, 50 achievement points, whereas the others will include 200. Unlike the iTunes uh, marketplace, all of the games that are available for download do offer tri trials, just like on the Xbox Live Arcade. So at the bottom there, you either have try or buy. Obviously trying it will download a demo, which can either last several minutes or several hours, depending on how the developer chooses. Or if you want, you can just choose to buy the game, but whichever, it will confirm it and then download it onto your, cons onto your phone itself. Each game costs around from around two pounds to about six pounds, depending on who develops it. For example, the more popular games such as Sonic, uh, Guitar Hero, and Assassin's Creed are around the six pound margin, whereas the lesser known ones are around about two pounds thirty four pounds. So going back to the application itself, if you wanted to run a game, you just have to click on it and it would run. But I'll show you that in a moment. Scrolling sideways will bring up your profile, where you can view your character's profile, uh, achievements, and edit your avatar settings. So, if I was to click on achievements, it would bring up all the achievements that I've earned. And you can just view them, and just scroll down like you would on the PC, or on your Xbox profile on the console. Moving back out, slide over again, it brings up a list of friends and messages. So, I have to click on the friends tile. It'll bring up all the people that are currently online and then show you the people that are currently offline. And just like on the Xbox console itself, it tells you what they're doing. So, for example, Ben Skater is playing Skyrim and Mr. Roly Poly is playing FIFA 12. Uh, additionally, if I do slide over, I can see messages that have been received. And if I click on the message, I can actually reply to it by pressing the reply button down there and type in a message and then I can press send and away it goes so this is the request section and here requests would be stored so if I was sent a request to play a game uh, that I've downloaded on the phone I can accept or decline it here spotlight is the section of the application where get, uh, news or deal of the week so for example, the latest deal of the week is Sal Sally's Salon, uh, and obviously I have to click on it, I'll be taken to that actual page tell me more about the game itself. Other news includes like latest uh, downloadable content or Halo Waypoint news, changes on a weekly basis or even a daily basis, so it's always worth checking. Well that's the basic Xbox Live application, you've also got the Xbox Companion app, uh, doing so will offer you a variety of more settings and options as well as being able to down, uh, access your Xbox Live console from the phone itself and viewing items to download and install but in order to do that you need to have the Xbox Live console turned on and sign into your profile otherwise it won't work so if I was to load up say Shuffle Party because that is one of the free games that you can download from the marketplace Now this is a simple touch 
Um, it's basically like bowling, but with uh, shuffle pucks instead. So as you can see, there's your main menu, and at the bottom you've got achievements. Uh, I've unlocked all the achievements in this game, so none of them are greyed out. But each is worth 5G and are added to the total amount of the achievement on your profile. So if I just go to play a quick game, just continue the one I started early. So it's simple as, I mean, it's not the base, uh, it's not the most advanced game in the world, but it is something to try the device out. And since it's an Xbox Live enabled game, you, in some games, just as you saw there, your avatar will make an appearance. And with that strike, I think it's time to end the video. So, thanks for watching.